guys, it's Joanna from Nasty and Story. And today I'm gonna to do something that is like 10 years in the making. We're gonna purge our Christmas decorations. So Christmas for me and decorating has always been something that's very exciting for me. Ever since I was a little kid and I was one of four kids, I would be so excited to decorate. I would be the one that would be in charge and make sure that we did our whole house. But growing up, I would get really excited about the idea of deciding how I could decorate my house for Christmas, whichever way I wanted, and um, be in charge of that and let the creativity flow. Mike and I bought our first house to have it built a year later, just before we got engaged. So that year before we moved and got married, I slowly started to buy things um, that I saw on sale, or items that I thought I knew would need for our house. And I remember getting really excited about starting to pick out Christmas decorations. And I, I still, to this day, have some beautiful ornaments that I carefully chose as our Christmas decorations. And that's kind of how I established our color theme, which is green and red. I really like the very vintage, rustic, Christmas look, that's what I've always been drawn to. Never a formal look, never kind of the blues or the whites. Something very traditional, but more rustic and simple. So when we first got married and moved into our house, Mike's mom kindly let us go through a bunch of her decorations she had and grab some. We couldn't afford to decorate our whole house. And I remember I was like a kid on Christmas morning going through this. She used to be an elementary school teacher. So she had a lot of like trinkets and decorations that her students had given her over the years, way more than she needed. I love that. I remember going through that and being really excited and pulling a bunch of those items. Also one of those first years we were married and had Christmas together, I scrambled to find some decor items on a budget. And some of those decor items were a bunch of garland I got from, it was kind of like a dollar store. It was really cheap, but it did the job. And that's something I've just been using over the years ever since. So approaching Christmas this year, um, I really want to overhaul everything. I also am finding myself dreading decorating using garland and lots of lights and things like that. We had been going a bit overboard outside of our house and it wasn't even looking that great. And then up our stairs with garland, which was becoming very messy every time the kids went down the stairs. And I was dreading that. And then I thought to myself, do I really need to do that? Is there another way? I do want to dress our whole house by the time we decorate for Christmas, hopefully our basement will be done. There's like a thin layer of drywall dust everywhere, but we're getting there. And so I want to also keep an eye on some items I could decorate our basement with too. I'm gonna make piles, I'm gonna make piles that I'm going to purge, and I'm gonna make piles that I'm gonna keep. So, let's lay everything out and see where we get. Okay, so that's everything. That is all of our Christmas decorations. I think that compared to other people, it's probably a normal amount or not a crazy amount. But um, for me, it's too much of stuff that I don't like, really. Um, junky stuff or stuff that I've stopped putting out or stuff that I've been begrudgingly put out and I don't want to do that anymore. So I would much rather purge a bunch this year, maybe have less to put out this year, get a few new things and then build on that from here of things that I really carefully choose. Instead of just buying things because they're super cheap or someone's given them to me, um, I want Christmas for me and my family to be really special and I would rather each item mean more to me. Black garbage bag is for anything I think is garbage and can't be donated. And clear garbage bag is for anything that can be donated. And I'll probably have to put a pile off to the side too of things I have to put in a box to donate. Here we go.
So I'm gonna show you some items that I'm planning on donating so far. So that's garbage. Um, it's falling apart, I can't even donate that. But here's some items that I'm donating. All the garland. There's some ornaments here that I bought a couple years ago and it's just not my style. And then this, a few of these items were given to me by my mother-in-law. I know they didn't mean too much to her. She uh, just had too many and we've loved them for 10 years, but I think I'm gonna let them go. Now I wanna show you something. I have all of these little houses and reindeer and things that I used to put on my mantle. Never really knew what to do with them. I have a really fun idea that I'm gonna do this year um, and make kind of a tablescape with them. Here's an example of something a bit more sentimental that I am gonna trash. This is a stocking I made for Mike when we were dating like 15 years ago or something. And it's so sparkly, it's falling apart. And I just asked, I text Mike, I'm like, can I ditch this? He's like, yeah, he hates sparkles anyways. This, I don't even know, was a dollar store stocking we bought way back before kids. So, they're going in the garbage. Quick outfit change, because I am completely overheating. So back when, before kids, when I was raiding my mother-in-law's decorations, um, I found this Santa sack with toys. And um, I don't have, a, I was about to say I don't have a big sentimental attachment to it, but maybe I do more than I think. I know the kids love it. It's really cute and whimsical. I never actually put cookies in it, but I think I'm gonna keep this one. Okay, that is it. I've gone through everything and I show you what I'm keeping and what I'm ditching. Okay, so I'm keeping all of these items. This is garland that I picked up last year and made last year. Some lights, cushions, our new stockings, and Christmas tree de decorations. More lights. Um, this ribbon's pretty new. I'm gonna use that probably on a tree. And some outdoor lights. This is what I'm getting rid of. So it's not as much as I thought, but I'm glad I went through it all. So all that garland, there's a bunch of decor items in here that I'm gonna donate that I've had quite, quite a few years and I'm ready to let go. Candles that I don't use, branches, some decorations here, and then this is up my garbage pile. It feels really good to be letting go of the items that don't bring me joy. There was a lot, I'm realizing like going through this, there was a lot that didn't bring me joy and I want to enjoy decorating and it's not gonna be a burden anymore. I'm also excited to bring in some new items that really reflect our style and reflect some of the changes we've been making to our house. It makes a huge difference when it comes to decorating with the twins now that they're not babies anymore and I'm getting really excited about that. I'm not gonna go crazy just yet because I have realistic expectations but it's nice to know that they're not crawling around pulling everything down. I will be keeping our kids' Christmas tree. If you remember from previous years, that's a Christmas tree that our kids decorate and they can move around the ornaments as much as they want. It may go in the basement this year, we'll have to see. Anyways, I thought I'd end this video with a look back to our Christmases and enjoy those memories and remind myself that it's memories are both about the people and family that you have around you, not about the things, and it's okay to let these items go.
Let me know below if you've ever purged your Christmas decorations and what kind of sentimental value your Christmas decorations hold. Do you like decorating for Christmas? Do you dislike it? Do you dread it? Let me know. Um, and also let me know where you are in your purging journey. So if you like this video, hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I'd love for you to subscribe. And if you have subscribed, thank you so much. It means so much to all of us. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.